all right so in this video i will show you how to make beautiful ancient ruins something like this and also if you want to download the project file you can get it on my gumroad page link is in the description on google earth you can view the temple completely from street view and this is where i took the reference from so i took a screenshot on each step so that i can get the 360 view of the temple so i collected all the references and throw them in a software called pure ref so now in blender just take a cube and scale it down and give it a shape of brick and then add a bevel to the sharp edges then you can duplicate the brick and add some variation to them also make sure to apply the scale for each brick now move all of them closer together and select all of them by holding shift and then press ctrl j to join them into a combined object then duplicate it on the z axis and offset a bit on the x axis and the width of the brick should match the offset portion in this way they will interlock each other now you can import the reference images to match the shape and the height now with the array modifier with a bit more relative offset on the z axis you can add levels of bricks and same for the duplicated one as well and in the reference i saw that it was 11 brick tall so i am making it 11 brick tall as well now add in another array modifier and this time set the relative offset on the x axis and in this way it will become a complete wall now i will just move some bricks on top as per the reference and also if you want to select your bricks in edit mode you can just press l and it will select the whole brick mesh then after you are confirm with the placements you can select both of the object and instead of applying the modifiers you can just press f3 to search and search for convert mesh and then if you want to combine both of them you can just press ctrl j now you can duplicate the walls four times and do some adjustments to make the first level of the temple now you can repeat the same process to make the rest of the levels but for the top i will delete some bricks and i am going to sculpt it as well now you can add planes on the blank spaces to fill them now in the similar manner you can make this pillar kind of thing using the bricks and array modifier as well now let's make this stair so just add a cube and scale it down and give it a shape of a step and then apply its skill now bevel the edge on the front and add an array modifier with relative offset on z and y and increase the number until the top now delete all the bricks in the way of stairs but you will see that the plane is popping out so for that extrude its face down and then add a boolean modifier to the plane which has now become a cube now add a cube covering the portion outside and set the boolean object to the cube you have just added and set the mode to difference so our base mesh is ready now it's time to sculpt the top so in sculpt mode turn on dyne topo and set the value to 3 uh, which is decent in my case and now i will start scraping the edges then i will add large details with the clay strip brush but do not sculpt from a far distance or it will have this vacuum kind of glitch so try to stay as close as possible then after sculpting each wall you can see that the topology of our mesh is messed up and also we don't want this amount of faces so go to this icon i always call it vertex group then in the remeshing option use the voxel remesher and i will set it to 0.04 so a lower number will preserve more details but will have much more faces so and a higher number will preserve less details resulting into lower number of faces now let's add two cubes and let's sculpt them and as you can see in the references there are two rock pillars on top so just use the smooth brush to melt it and deform it with the elastic deform brush and add details with the clay strip brush then remesh it with higher number because these two will be very far from camera now before we move on let's talk about today's sponsors 
So Wingfox is a platform where you can find many courses that can help you learn. Wingfox is a great place to learn professional skills and they have professional instructors and lecturers from around the world. They are not only our sponsors but I am their user too. They have a very unique and wide variety of courses as compared to any other platform. Wingfox provides courses related to CG and VFX, game art, IT and software, graphic design, animation, concept design and environment design. And also you can filter courses by your level that is beginner, intermediate or expert and by language and by price. You can find many blender courses here from professional artists. The one I like here is this industry ready weapons and attachment creation for video games. This is a professional course in which you will learn how to create customizable revolvers with mountable attachment pieces for it. You will learn advanced level hard surface modeling in blender texturing in Substance Painter and creating portfolio renders in Marmoset Toolbag. This course is by Tim Bergholz and he is a professional in this industry for 14 years. The main reason you should take this course is that you will learn how to model and texture industry level weapons and also you will make a professional portfolio out of it. So get ready to learn with Wingfox. Now I will parent the whole pieces of the temple to an empty object so that I can move the whole temple at the same time. Now I will add a cube and set its height to 35 meters which is the actual size of the coker temple. Now I will scale the empty until it matches the height of the cube. So now this is the actual scale of the temple. Now it's time to UV unwrap it and if you want to see the UVs much more clearly you can just plug a checker texture in the base color and then you can link the same material to all the objects. So if you are texturing in blender you can just do a cube projection and scale the UVs but if you are using a texturing software like Substance Painter you can smart UV project it but if you export in Substance Painter you will get this kind of ambient occlusion glitch. So to avoid that we have to prevent overlapping UVs. So if you go to select and then select select overlap you can see all the overlapping UVs. So during smart UV projecting you can see here the island margin so increase it to a number like 0 0.003 and this will solve the problem so for the wall material i am using the bricks 076b from ambient cg and now i will use it on the pillars near the stairs as well as the material is looking very flat i will duplicate the layer and set its blend mode to multiply and then add a mask and then add a dirt generator to the mask. Now it's looking good as it has some kind of variation. Now I am using a moss material from Ambient CG and I will use a moss smart mask brush to blend it with the wall material. Now same for all the pillars but with different seeds. Now I am using this ground 004 material for the terrace of the temple. To avoid repetition I will duplicate this layer again and this time I will set the blend mode to overlay and use the ground dirt smart mask to mix it with the original one. For the stairs same as the pillars but with different settings. Same for the walls but with different mask, different effects and different seeds. And you will need a higher resolution texture for larger object or the lack of resolution will be noticeable. For the rocks I am using this rocks 0 to 8 and duplicated the same layer and with a different blend mode and different mask. Now back in blender I will plug back all the textures. So you can press ctrl shift D if you have node wrangler add-on turned on to open up the PBR material setup and then select the image textures you have just created. Noise. Now it's time to scatter some vegetation and for that I am using an add-on called botanic. And if you want a free alternative, there is a free plant library on blender market. I was going to scatter the vegetation with the particle system but this time it was getting pretty inconvenient. So at this time I have to use geometry nodes. I know that geometry nodes are better than particle system but if you want to scatter something simple and quick then I always prefer particle system. But this time's not the charm so let's do it with geometry nodes. 
so this is my geometric node setup and if you want you can copy this and this one is pretty basic now i will duplicate the same node setup but this time it will be for the grass collection now with this amount of particles my scene is getting slower so what i used to do is that i select all the objects of the collection and then go to viewport display and while holding the alt button set that to bounds now the viewport will be much performant and you can still see the objects in render view now i will manually place some grass and plants assets on some pillars and walls so add some of them and parent them to an empty object and then keep on duplicating and same for the plants and there you go vegetation complete now it's time to make the scene so as in the reference i added a tree exactly at the same place and some other trees around the temple as well but i think that it was making the temple look much smaller because we have added much details but it's still looking very flat from this camera angle so i switched the camera angle from this one to this one and it was looking much better and i also think that it's not compulsory to copy the whole reference especially this one because this reference came from google earth whose motive is to give visual information about the location not visual art i mean that uh, you will not find composition and design principle in any image so we will do it ourselves but first let's do the particle mesh so i added a particle system to the ground plane and used wet paint to decide the location of the grass and also i created this pathway as you can see in the reference then in the vertex group set the density and length to this vertex group and there you go grass now i wanted the grass material all over except the pathway so i duplicated the principal bsdf and plugged the ground material in it and plug both of them into a mix shader then in the factor i added a image texture and create a new image then with the image selected you can go to texture paint and then you can paint a white color on the pathway and now plug the image texture into the factor and now you can see that the white color represents the ground material and the black color represents the grass material and also don't forget to save the image or you have to do that again and again now i will add a human for real life scale and you can see that our temple is enormous now as you can see in the reference there are these brick like pieces and sticks that i imported for free from blender kit and these sticks are from blender kit as well so i aligned them as they are in the references using the array modifier then for the brick rubble i found this brick rubble on blender kit as well which i stacked and changed the color a bit in the shader editor then i used the same wall system to create compound wall very far away then i added a few trees and scaled them down making the temple look big now for the background i found some great pngs on a website called png wing and added those image planes in the background then i found this image on unsplash for the sky so i added this image as well now to make the image align to the view of our camera i added a track to constraint to the image and set the object to the camera and boom now if you are getting this kind of clipping in the viewport you can increase the clipping distance and same for the camera and also plug the color of the sky into the emission as well and you can lower down the emission strength if it is too much now as the ground was looking very flat i added a plane blocking the light and then plugged a noise texture into the alpha and then a color ramp to control the opacity this gave me the much needed cloud effect then again i added a plane and plugged a gradient texture into the alpha and blocked the light coming from the lower left corner and duplicated it again to block the light from the lower right corner which results into highlighting the pathway for the lighting i have used the sky texture and turned the sun intensity all the way to zero and lowering the strength giving only the ambient light then i added a sun and rotated it in such a way that the light is coming from the left to right and i also changed the color of the sun to a slight orange with 0.1 in the saturation then i displaced the ground plane with a displace modifier with the noise texture and a subsurface modifier then i added some random shrubs as well on the ground with the particle system still the scene was not looking good and i think something has to do with the composition 
so i came across this screenshot of mine and i thought that i can use these trees to frame my image to focus on the temple so i added two foreground trees and bam it completely changed the look of the image then i added just a simple camera animation to the camera and to give my camera an handheld effect i used a shakeify add-on from ian hubert to add subtle camera shake and believe me it's damn useful then i added a plane and gave it a cooler color to represent a distance fog then i plugged a gradient texture and added a color ramp this will not only add a bit of realism but will also separate the background from the main subject now as my scene is very heavy for my system to render i will use render layers to render collections separately if you don't know how to use render layers then you can watch this video so i am rendering this animation at 500 samples with a noise threshold of 0.002 and keeping the noise threshold bigger will render faster but will give less quality but i don't think that 0.002 will make any difference than 0.001 and now it's time to wait for a while okay so all in all my scene has many particles and 5 million faces and also i have rendered this scene in render layers and it took me 13 hours to render the whole animation then after everything is rendered you can composite them in blender but i like to do that in after effects which i found pretty convenient so i added a subtle glow to the ground and this tree as well on the left and i also did a bit of color correction in davinci resolve which leads us to the final result so that's it guys i hope you enjoyed the video if you like this video consider subscribing to this channel and i will see you in the next video bye bye